Today's tutorial we're going to cover a, an exceptionally good app. What it is fantastic at is off-road and that's what we're all looking for. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. First things first, the most important thing is you need to go to Google Play and search View Ranger. Okay, when you search View Ranger, this is the icon and the program you're looking for. Go ahead and install that and uh, come back and, and crack on and follow this tutorial. Right, this is basically the opening screen when you open the app. I'm going to run through it fairly quickly so you guys can get out there and use this app. Alright, so the first thing, let's start in top left. This section here really deals with a facility in this app to be able to link to a community of creators that are, are doing routes and uploading them. Alright, so we'll leave this alone, the map interface. I'm going to leave this as it is for the moment and then I'm going to move on just through the next. Here is your own profile and as I was speaking about different creators, you can see here there's a number of people. You can follow them. I wouldn't worry about it. Go to tracks. This is your own work. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing there now. Roots are pretty much the same. And then the profile. I wouldn't worry about it. It's not critical. Next is the search. Now, what we've got here, you have the option for places, routes, people, and coordinates. You can type in your coordinate and off you go. All right, let's get out of that. And then the last, the three little dots. Now this deals with the other facilities here. So I'm going to run through them quickly. Maps. In the Okay, just a heads up. There's a basic version of this, and you get obviously a set number of maps. But what I found for 58 Rand, which is what the subscription is annually, which is actually insignificant, you get... A whole heap load of maps and let me tell you they are brilliant so for 58 bucks it's a steal all right let's get out of here uh, the map shop obviously points of interest let's open that up you can create points of interest I'm not gonna hang around in there challenges ignore that because there's all sorts of challenges you can take part in okay let's carry on buddy list another great thing about this app is if you're a group of you are riding with this app, you can create a buddy list. Everybody knows where everybody else is. I'm not going to delve into that right now. My account is fairly self-explanatory. Right. Sync content. This one is going to be important because if we click on that, all right, what happens? You upload your maps and it synchronizes. We'll get into that in more in depth. So don't worry about that right now import and export again this is going to be important we're going to deal today primarily with the import of gpx won't worry about the rest of them just yet uh, display preferences uh, this is all personal interest screen orientation uh, it's up to you i mean it, it's personal choice and settings now settings quite interesting let's go through them quickly i would select for us south africa national grid is great britain coordinate type longer latitude set it at like that and again the rest of it don't that that purely is personal choice do what you want there right next uh, where are we drawing is your decision how thick you want the lines nothing too crazy there gps all right this gives you a whole lot of lists on how you want your gps to run etc i just leave it as standard for now again that's personal choice track you can auto record a track as soon as you start uh, recording a track. You want to create your own track. Uh, you can click that. You can set your minimum distance. So every 10 meters, it'll it'll put down a, a marker, and fairly much the same as other other GPS settings. So that's again personal choice. Get out of there. Let's go to map. I wouldn't worry about it. Just leave it as it is. Nothing's too stressful there. Notifications. Uh, ah, I would actually personally switch all of these off. The only ones that I would consider is notifications, email updates, help and advice, email and promotions for maps. The rest of it wouldn't worry about it. Privacy, again, personal choice. 
synchronize let's open that okay so basically in this option when you upload every time you open it your roots will be synchronized we'll get to that shortly but I wouldn't worry leave it as it is beacons let's open that up this is basically if you're being in that buddy beacon system you create your own pin you send your pin to your mate he then can obviously follow you add you to his you he to yours whatever and you can have the choice to auto start the beacon whenever you start riding walking whatever the case is navigation auto route follow this is not these are quite good you can set up uh, how when do you want your navigation arrow to begin pointing to the next waypoint uh, how do you want it your navigation through compass or GPS that's your own choice you can choose to activate an alarm so when you get closer to a waypoint an alarm will go off and I think this is quite interesting and very very useful for real off-road aficionados and those that really want to go off-road you can choose to activate a route if you go more than so many meters from the route it'll start giving you a heads up fantastic right navigation sharing pretty self externity you can share it with your mates search story ah I wouldn't worry about all that right let's get out of that and we'll go to let's go to the maps right let's just walk through this quickly obviously that's your current GPS right first things first this is a sky view I think it's fantastic but not everybody's cup of tea it gives you a it takes a picture and it can identify if you're in the Drakensberg maybe names of peaks or whatever it is not not serious you can work through that click this button and this finds your position positive and negative that is basically zoom in zoom out so if we zoom out zoom in okay fantastic uh, if you push and hold this button all right this is this is good stuff you can record your trip okay trip one will give you your times your trip distances speed your navigation shows you your compass arrow and all the other bits and pieces here and again you can set up various things here and you can record and edit fantastic okay we won't you know we'll do a tutorial on that later uh, what else have we got okay press on the green arrow start to record your track start a route obviously one that you may have already downloaded plot a route add a point of interest buddy beacon straightforward okay let's get out of that all right and then the little layers here okay another great feature of this app you can actually download areas of map so that you can use it once you're offline it's it's what you should have and it should be standard in all navigation apps these days all right so you've got various choices here and if you want more options obviously if you have paid the 58 rand for the year which still I think is a steal you get a whole boatload more map and various options all right um, that's up to you you can choose to do what you want right now we're going to get into the nitty-gritty let's get to it so if we minimize that we are going to go to our favorite subject Garmin Basecamp I've already selected now difference here okay I created a, a track okay now the difference here is when we export this track let's export the selection we are going to leave it in the GPX format remember that leave it in the GPX format let's find my folder where are we let's go to desktop quickly dun, 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 desktop okay find the range folder create a range for range viewer folder open it up and save it mm -hmm. I've already done this so yes replace it that's all you need to do close it down okay what I would then do email it to yourself down and when you download it goes into your downloads folder all right but what I'm gonna do here just to save yourself a whole lot of headache we're going to there's my download folder in my phone go to desktop go to rangefinder folder there's your file and all you're gonna do is where 
there's the download folder drag it across and put it in your phone's download folder all right let it do its thing close it down and now we're going to go to the phone all right let's close this down for now minimize 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 right on your phone you're going to go and look in your files folder fairly straightforward go to downloads select downloads all right now what what it's going to ask you here is you're going to select this that is the track we've just brought in and it's going to ask you how do you want to um, so you're going to go to apps and of course simple enough select view ranger okay it tells you this file contains one track do you want to import it go ahead yes okay fantastic it's arrived in your in your map you can see it there we're going to go across here you'll find it under tracks you can double click on it or click on it once and you've got everything about that okay you can rename it tells you your ascent descent the length of time okay you can view in 3d create route from track yes that's what we want to do okay click on that it then suggests tolerance controls okay I'll leave it at 10 click OK view your route right now so it tells you okay go ahead and do that it tells you everything that you need to know and you can then go ahead and start your route okay and there it is basically everything you need to know is it gives you step-by-step -step directions here in the lower section so you can get to your point and basically that is it all right so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial uh, as i say as a summary i feel that view ranger is a fantastic app and for anybody looking for a a viable alternative to to spending a fortune on a gps then this app is is phenomenal yes it's you're not going to be able to compete with it in a hardcore extreme enduro but for adventure riders for hikers for cyclists you know guys walking this is fantastic you can even use it as a backup to your own mainline GPS guys I hope you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe don't forget to tag the bell and if you have any comments please don't hesitate them to put them in the comment section below and that is it for this tutorial and we'll see you in the next one